should be just another driver. A 19-year-old lucky enough to be racing professionally. But wherever he goes, the cameras and the crowds follow. Because he is not just another driver. He is Mario Andretti's son, Michael Andretti. It puts a little pressure on you, I think, you know, but uh, I just try to block that part out of my mind, and uh, I, I really try to judge myself, you know, uh, be my own judge. You know, a lot of people think that I should, uh, you know, win every race because I'm, you know, in the best equipment, which that's not always true. You know. There's no question that being Michael Andretti has its advantages. Wherever he races, his world champion father is rarely very far away. I think it's very helpful having him there because he's a, you know, one of the best teachers you can have and uh, I think it's helpful. I don't think it hurts me at all because whenever I have a question I can always ask him and you know, I'm sure to get the right answer. The senior Andretti is considered by many to be the premier American driver. He has won Indy, he has won Formula One, and he has gained the fame that goes along with all that winning. And wherever he goes, those same cameras that haunt his son multiply around him. That stuff doesn't bother me. I think it's part of the business. Uh, in fact, uh, if they wouldn't care, I think probably that would bother me more. I think as long as uh, you feel there's interest there, uh, it, it makes you feel good. But even winning has its price. Constant testing, promoting and traveling, all away from his family. We're very committed all the time, and uh, I don't mind that again, but it's just that, uh, you know, just constant pressure. And, uh, however, we all look for the rewards. Uh, if you succeed, all that is worthwhile. When you don't, frustration sets in, obviously. And now he's watching his son go through the same. You just, you have your son out there and uh, it is a special feeling. You know what he's going through, uh, you know what he's facing, you know the dangers. Uh, I mean, it's all there and nobody knows it better than we do. There has been talk of the older Andretti retiring, but not before he races Le Mans this year with his son Michael as co-driver. It's something that I've always dreamed of and I think it's something he always dreamed of and it's finally coming true. Part of that dream will be an all-new Mirage race car being built in Scottsdale. Tomorrow, the testing begins, and the Andrettis find out whether a $750,000 project stands a chance at victory. Rick DeBrule, Channel 12, Action News.